So in this video, let us uh, look into solving simultaneous linear equations in two variables by the method of elimination by equating the coefficients. What exactly this says is, what we have to do is now we've got a couple of, a pair of linear equations in two variables, right? So till now we've solved these kinds of equations either graphically and also by a method called the method of substitution where we take one equation you know make one of the variables a subject and then substitute that in the other equation and so on so in this video what we are exactly going to do is we're going to solve by the method of elimination by equating the coefficients there is nothing but you need to equate the coefficients of the variables that is you either equate the coefficient of the variables x that is make 3 and 2 something else such that it becomes 6 and 6 or 8 and 8 or whatever that is or make the coefficients of y that is 2 and 3 equal and then add or subtract these two equations then cancel off one variable that's what you're going to do basically we need to eliminate one variable only then can we find out the value of the other variable that's what we're going to do so but how are we going to equate the coefficients well equating the coefficients is pretty simple all that we have to do is uh, you know this is the question we've got just rewrite this 3x plus 2y equals 11 and 2x plus 3y equals 4 and you know multiply just cross multiply multiply it just choose what do you want to eliminate do you want to eliminate x or y say for example i'm saying I'll, I'll eliminate y so choose the coefficient of y and multiply it to the top take 3 and multiply it to the top and take 2 and multiply it to the down why are we doing this is 3 times 11 is 33 3 times 2y is 6y 3 times 3x is 9x 2 times 4 is 8 2 times 3y is again 6y 2 times 2x is 4x the reason we did this is we've now equated the coefficients of the variable y. Now, what is the point in equating it? The reason is, you know, let's subtract this. Subtracting changes the signs, right? Now, by subtracting it, we can cancel this. This becomes 0. So, we get 9x minus 4x is 5x equals 33 minus 8 is exactly 25. So, thereby, we can find the value of x. x equals 25 by 5, which is equal to 5. So, x equals 5, right? This is the reason we equate the coefficient of one of the variables and I chose y. And once you cancel y, you can find x. Now that you found x, substitute the value of x in one of these two equations, whichever you want. So, let's consider this is 1. Consider this is 2. I'll substitute the value of x in equation 2. So, let me write here, substituting... value of x in equation 2 I get let me first write the equation 2x plus 3y equals 4 so 2 times 5 plus 3y equals 4 2 times 5 is 10 so 10 plus 3y equals 4 3y equals 4 minus 10 or y equals 4 minus 10 is minus 6 divided by 3 so 3 goes minus 2 times and minus 6 so therefore y equals minus 2 so that's all very simple, nothing complex in this method as well. All you have to do is eliminate either x or y by equating their coefficients. And then how do you eliminate them after equating? Either add or subtract. If the signs are already opposite, just add it. If the signs are not, then subtract. Therefore, changing the signs and find one of the variables value and then substitute that in one of the given equations and find the other variable. So this is how we solve simultaneous linear equations in two variables by the method of elimination by equating the coefficients. All right, so yeah, let us quickly solve another problem. So we've got another set of uh, simultaneous linear equations in two variables. Let us solve this by the method of elimination by equating the coefficients. So let us name this as equation 1 and this is equation 2. Let us rewrite those uh, equations 8x plus 5y equals 9 and 3x plus 2y equals 4. Well, in this set of uh, equations, I eliminated y. Let me eliminate x in this. If you want to eliminate x, choose the coefficient of x and then multiply it to the opposite equation. So multiply the top equation by 3 and the below equation by 8, which is the coefficient of x. 
So 9, 9 times 3 is 27 and 3 times y y is 15y. 3 times 8x is 24x. Now 8 times 4 is 32. 8 times 2y is 16y and 8 times 3x is 24x again. Now we made, we equated the coefficients of the variable x. Now it's time to cancel them out either by adding or subtraction. Since the signs are same here, we need to subtract it. Change the signs. So cancel this. 15y minus 16y is minus y. 27 minus 32 is minus 5. Minus and minus gets cancelled. So we found the value of y to be equal to 5. Right? So now, substituting value of y in any of the equations. I will choose equation 2 again because it seems simple. The numbers are small. In equation 2, you can substitute any equation. You can choose anything, 1 or 2. So now we get 3x plus 2y equals 4. 3x plus 2 times 5 because the value of y is 5 equals 4. 3x plus 2 times 5 is 10 equals 4. 3x equals 4 minus 10 or 3x equals minus 6 or x equals minus 6 by 3 which is minus 2. So therefore the value of x is minus 2. So x equals minus 2 and y equals 5. So therefore we've successfully solved this set of simultaneous linear equations in two variables by the method of elimination by equating the coefficients and the solutions are x equals minus 2 and y equals 5. So this ends this problem as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with another method by which we can solve simultaneous linear equations in two variables.